everyone, Apollo, Tuna, Klaus, Pyro, Spritz, Dogger, hi guys, what's good, what's good, hi Cloudy Flake, how was your weekend guys, I'm gonna play with my rolling pins for a little bit, right, today is Beef Wellington, sweet potato mash and asparagus. I'm going a little, a little fancy. Not really. Welcome, welcome. How do you guys feel about this uh, music? months that is over here but probably let me see five maybe I bet thanks for the resub hun get some love in here for Ophicle the man himself I'm getting hungry now of course that's, I'm telling you disclaimer make sure you bring your snack before you get into the stream <laughs> Tub taking my hype Tub's always taking the hype oh Tub's here too hello Offical Sundays are one of my favorite days because Offical can actually watch. Normally he's too sleepy. Apollo, hello darling. Fingers faster than Lucky Luke. He's ready, at the ready. What? That's right. That's right, we're cooking. We cooking. Whoops. All right, well, on that note, I'm gonna get started. But while I do that, everybody tell me about your weekend. One CSGO match, oh, I see, I get it. All right, so we're starting with the beef Wellington, which I have my beef right here. It's not filet, because I didn't want to spend the money on filet, but it's a good cut and it'll work just fine. Or it should anyway. All right, Tuna. Sounds good. I will certainly ask. All right, I'm using, well, first we're gonna heat up my cast iron skillet here. Great for searing. There we go. Yeah, check the music levels. We're doing a new, uh, new music style, so. It's a little more chill, because lately the dubstep is a little bit, 
split much. We asked the guy who runs this particular um, channel. I'm keeping my socks on after what after the business we had the last couple of streams. No, no, no I'm keeping my socks on. <laughs> also, I haven't done my toes, so they're a little ratchet right now. Anyway, might need to put this puff pastry back in the fridge. Relax, beats. Thanks, Tuna. We got chefs in here now, so can't be fucking up. I'm certainly not a chef. I'm a I'm a hobby. I'm a hobbyist, hobby cook, if you want to call it that. Do you like to use cast iron tuna? I'm gonna put this back in the fridge. I don't want it to get too soft. I'm not ready for it yet. Chevy's gone, Tev. Don't rub it in. It's sad. It's weird. I'm used to having her around and she's gone. There we go. Hands are. Actually. I don't know where he is. He's not even in his spot right now. <laughs> Which celebrity chef do I like the most? Uh, Alton Brown, for sure. I actually have, wait. I haven't made anything from it, but Ninja got me this awesome Alton Brown cookbook that I really need to use at some point soon. Got some good stuff in here. But yeah, he's my favorite. What about you? But you guys, Gordon Ramsay. I mean, he, yeah, Gordon Ramsay knows what he's doing. Alton Brown's definitely my favorite. He's. I feel like, I feel like Alton just knows the most, and he's more like relatable. Like, like Gordon Ramsay is fancy as fuck, and like Alton knows all that stuff. But I, I don't know. I just feel like if I could go to anybody's house and have him cook for me, um. It would be Alton for sure. All right, Tuna, what's your favorite dish to cook? What's your what's your best dish, I should ask? I'm pressing that in here. Comfort family food is a poor sugami. Are you beef next week? Yeah. <laughs> Cereal. Beat that meat. Not beating the meat today, just gently, gently touching it. sides, just your standard salt and pepper. All right, this should be hot now. So I'm just gonna very quickly sear this for like 30 to 60 seconds on each side. Oh, your little sister's not well. Oh, what's the matter with her? Even better. Tab, you're disgusting, you know that. It's a little, it's a little hot. And pop with oil. Hello, Will. I like my steak medium rare. Same. It's the only way to eat steak. I can deal with medium, but anything more than medium, no thank you. Nah. But the good type of disgusting. Sure. I'm for you the other, which I haven't done yet.
What's 200 Celsius, guys, in Fahrenheit? <laughs> I'm using a British recipe. Did you help me? 392. Well done all the way, are you serious? Wait, what was it? 392. All right, we're gonna go like, we'll just do 390. <laughs> Yeah, it can be very dangerous. Britishness intensifies. <sighs> What's up, Viking? You here to judge me? They serve raw beef with sushi. I've never had raw beef, like tartare or anything. It doesn't. Um, I've had raw beef. But it has you, to be like really fresh and yeah, like controlled. You, you can eat it raw, you know, don't just go eating. Yeah, this is like a just funky like shape. Just go buy a steak from the grocery store and eat it raw. It's not gonna work out. All right, so I've just like very gently seared that off. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. The moment. <laughs> okay. Now I've never made this before, guys. So we're gonna see how this goes. I've actually never even eaten beef wellington before. So I've just seen it everywhere and I was like, I need to try that. Salmonella had me in the hospital. Oof. Ugh. Ugh. Feel for you, dude. That sounds awful. Sounds awful. Ugh. How did you get it? Put this off to the side. You love steak tartare? Well, you're a fancy chef, so. Oops. All right, I'm going to finely chop these mushrooms, like really small, really, really small. I really wish I had better like knife technique. That's one thing I need to work on, and I haven't bothered because I have like the shittiest knives. So, and I know you're supposed to like use your knuckles and all that so you don't cut your fingers off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this over here so I can see chat because this is gonna be a minute. Whoops, lost a mushroom. What about 7-Eleven? Oh, you got salmonella from 7-Eleven? What did you eat? Is mushroom and fish, well, rip. <laughs> Sorry, we got mushrooms today. <laughs> what kind of fish? I'm not, well, I think lately I've grown to really like almost all fish. No jewelry while cooking. I wear my ring. I almost never take off my ring. It always gets dirty too. I would love to go to like cooking school, honestly. How long have you guys been chefs, tuna and a uh, Viking? Or in the culinary world, I guess. Hi, Passionites! What's up, girl? Give that girl a shout out. Fellow CSGO player, yo. You just get done streaming or? Too long. <laughs> What's too long? What is it? Oh, Sam is the only fish you eat? That's funny because salmon's one of the stronger flavored fish, in my opinion. Like tilapia and that sort of thing, if you cook it right, it just soaks up whatever flavors you infuse into it. You finally made it to one of my streams. Well, I'm glad you're here. Fabulous. We're just cutting up some fungi right now. <laughs> Is that right, Apollo? Talking about Passionite? Of course, of course. 
This laptop gets so dirty during these streams because I've got it like right here in front of my cutting board. 10 years daytime is IT nighttime. Oh wow, well that's awesome. I always love it when people like transition careers like that. Because when you've been in something for such a long time, it's kind of scary to just completely change what you're doing. So that's awesome. We're making beef wellington passionite. So we're cutting up the mushrooms for the filling. Nice and tiny, and I'll show you guys underneath the... Julia Passionite! from Apollo. Oh, it's Apollo Gibbs. Apollo, thank you so much and welcome, Passionite. Thank you, Apollo. Get some love in here for those two. <laughs> What's good, Julia? Spam the emote, guys, spam the emote. <laughs> Apollo is the sub gifter of this channel. He's always gifting subs. I think that's tiny enough. I'm just gonna like run it over one more time just to make sure it's like really nice. It seems like a lot of mushrooms. I feel like I'm not gonna use all these. But whatever. You did wash them, right? Yes. I did before the stream started. You definitely don't want to not wash mushrooms. Always wash your mushrooms. Mushrooms are like one of the dirtiest, like, produce they items. They grow in actual food. It's, it's like dirt and shit. Like, <laughs> don't, you can't get by. Like some stuff you can, whatever, you should, but you can get by. But mushrooms, no. It's your birthday, Pasha night on Monday? Tomorrow, tomorrow's Monday. Happy early birthday. That's true, they do shrink. I'm making like basically half the recipe anyway. Like I'm only using like a little less than a pound of meat. So I didn't, bet between the two of us, you know, we always end up with a lot of leftovers from uh, the cooking stream. So I'm like, eh, we need to cut it back a little bit. We need to wipe them, not wash them. Is that true? Is my whole life a lie? I am going to strain them, like you said, though, before I put them in. Hi, Chummy! I will say I did not wipe them down. So these are, they're not, they're not really, they're not wet, but... I washed them, like, a little while ago. Alright, I'm going to run my knife over just a little bit more. So it's really tiny, okay. Lovely, we have chopped mushrooms. Air spray? What do you mean air spray? Air spray? Well, Passionite, stick around, we'll teach you. <laughs> Cooking is so much fun. All right, I'm gonna let this heat up again. Ooh, beef welling. It's gonna be tasty AF. I'm just gonna leave, it's already oiled up, so no problem, hairspray. Okay, Passionite, thanks for stopping by. Classic British dish, that's right. I've never had it. Oh, okay, gotcha. That makes sense. That does make sense. So what kind of restaurant do you work in, Viking? Like what kind of cuisine? Oh, and then for the seasoning for the mushrooms, we're only, we're using like a couple sprigs of thyme, but just the leaves. We're gonna take the leaves off. I'm like, that's probably good. Is it? I'm sure, I mean, it's like, anything with puff pastry too, is like, what's up?
All right, what's the best way to strip leaves from thyme? How about that? That's a good question. Do I just cut them? I just cut them off? It, you can just pull them off with your fingers. Yeah, but they're very delicate. Like, I feel like they probably know a faster way. They're a trick. They're a trick is what I'm asking. Cloudy Flake. <laughs> I'm asking the chefs. <laughs> I'm just about to cut them off, really. Run your fingers down the stalks against the direction the leaves are going. Ah, yeah. But they're really delicate. Very, very delicate. <laughs> Please, Will. <laughs> uh. Somehow the cooking stream ends up being the most inappropriate. All right. I'm gonna put these bad boys in. I love the way mushrooms smell, especially when they cook. Turn that down. This is plus eighteen. Against the way the leaves are going. But these are so like delicate. You don't think you're gonna have to clean today? Probably not. This is actually like, there's no dessert today and dessert is normally what messes this damn kitchen up. Blend them. Here, I'll just like, I want to blend them, won't they get mushy? Like, you know. No, most of them are pretty tiny. They seem pretty small. I'm gonna break up some of these like kind of slightly bigger pieces, I guess. Some of them are bigger. I'll tell you, my knife techniques could definitely be better. I will admit that. Probably enough. Ninja, Ninja does have to help me clean up, always. Actually, will you turn the air down a little bit? Sure. Hot. Hot. So. Yes, Julia is a hacker for sure. For sure. Half your there. little fingernail? Yeah, there. The well, actually some of on them. Right now. Huh? The air is actually on right now. Well, okay. All right, I'll break them up. I wish I had a cheesecloth. I don't have a cheesecloth. I'll just use a paper towel. Add some rosemary. I like the combination of thyme and rosemary. I think I have some marjoram. No. There we go. Hey all. You don't need the air. Why don't I need the air? I don't, I have a, I mean, I have like a dish rag, like, or like, you know, like a towel, but 
I know you need like something thinner for that kind of thing. I don't have that. I'll just drain it on a paper towel. We're balling on a budget here. There you go, Cloudy Flakes. See, Cloudy Flakes learning. <laughs> right? Okay, it says, continue to cook over high heat for 10 minutes until all the excess moisture has evaporated and you are left with a mushroom paste. Turn that up a little bit then, I guess. I guess, I guess I will have to blend it. I guess it's supposed to be pasty. Interesting. I'm learning today. Today I'm learning for sure. This is new. So we'll let that continue to go. I turned up the heat just a little bit. What up, really? Oh, you missed the stream again? No, we just getting started. We just getting started. Smells like mushrooms. Straight mushrooms up in here. Mm. Mushrooms can't actually be overcooked. That is a fun fact, did not know that. Hmm. Okay, good to know. Anybody can cook mushrooms because you can't burn them. But you can't overcook them, excuse me. You can probably burn them. I do have an immersion, like how should I blend it, Viking? Don't put the house on fire. Never, I've never said any, that's not true. Yeah, that's not true. Um, is that a fan on? This kitchen gets really smoky though, which I kind of don't like. There's not a lot of ventilation. Actually, I'm gonna. Are you open. running the vent? No, but it doesn't work very well. I'm gonna open this door. I'll turn the fan on too, but it gets loud too. All right. Use your hand. Is that your answer to everything? Use your hand. I don't think you can use your hand on anything. Everything, I mean. But to each their own, I suppose. Do you want me to turn the air off then? You got the door open? Um, maybe in a minute. I'll just see if this kind of clears it out a little bit. <laughs> yes. Doesn't look smoky to me. I don't actually have a blender. Huh? It doesn't look smoky to me. Is it smoky over there? I'll just leave this fan on. Whatever. I'll try, I'll use my immersion blender. I've got to whip it out anyway for the potatoes. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got chefs here hardcore. I do have a food processor, but I really don't want to whip it out because it's, it's cumbersome. It's a little cumbersome. I use... I use... This. I love this thing. I use this thing for almost everything. Yeah. What up, Carlos? How was your weekend? Ew, use your mouth, no. There's, there's actually somebody on YouTube that like cooks and cuts things only by chewing and biting. That's a thing. You're welcome. This woman like cutting carrots like with her teeth. That's so unsanitary. Mm-hmm, yeah, pretty much. 
children are watching. Yeah, I don't want extra cleaning. It's already, ugh, it's already a mess. It's already always a mess. All right, that looks pretty good to me. I should get a blender, but I just hate having like so many appliances. It's like I already have a food processor, I have this immersion blender, and I don't really like make smoothies or anything. So I'm just like, Ugh, do I really need to buy a blender? Do I? I don't know. It was okay, I was drunk. Oh, nice, Carlos. What are you guys gonna do? I'm gonna. Whoops. Ow, this thing's heavy. Trying not to burn myself. Alright, try this again. I was burning my fingers on the pot. Now that we didn't burn ourselves, let's see how this goes. We're experimenting. Okay. How does that look? I don't, I feel like I don't want it too pasty, right? Yeah, that, that works, that seems to work okay. I mean, that looks like a paste to me. 15 people added you, hilarious. I'm even playing beer pong, that's it. Well. Julia's a celebrity. She's gonna be a pro streamer. Hey, listen. Uh, oh, I can't see that. Something bra. Oh, you lift bra. <laughs> What's up, dude? Thanks for the follow. Yeah, I don't see any big bits. It's all the the little. There's like bits in there, but they're they're small. They're not bigger than the size you said earlier. Half the size of my nail. Okay. Well, we've got mushrooms. What's next, Bella's? Oh, pastry. It's puff pastry time. Puff pastry. I've worked with puff pastry once. Once before. And I can't remember what I did. I think I made like pot pies with it or something. Like chicken pot pie. All right. Actually, I'm just gonna use my counter for this. Julia, get ready to get triggered. What up, Man City for life? How are ya? Uh, my pastry, here it is. My pastry. I got like mushroom under my fingernails. Gross. Okay, I'm going to lightly flour my surface. I see Jay Smith has caught up to you. It's in a surprising turn of events. Jay Smith has caught up to you. Not a lot of flour left in this bag, so. Why are you in the kitchen? I'm in the kitchen to cook. What else do people do in the kitchen? All right, so I'm, I'm going to only use like half of this. Probably don't even need that. Oh. Got added seven times by the same person. Oh, he wanted your fire serpent so bad. Do you even have a fire serpent, Tev? Oh, 
All right. It's so funny, like for this stream, I have a huge kitchen, but like I'm, I limit myself to this very small like counter space with a camera. I want people to be able to see it. Okay, even this out. Hey, listen. Uh. Uh, spirit guide, thank you for the follow. What's up? All right. We have our puff pastry rolled out. Might need it to be a little bit bigger for that piece of beef. Just a little bit. I don't want it to be too thin though. That should be fine. If I need more, I'll get more. Add a layer of butter full, oh my God. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> now I've rolled this out. So and it says to put this back in the fridge on something. Get another paper plate. Does anybody else snack when they cook? I typically do, I'm not gonna lie. Especially when I do stuff like this, that requires a lot of time and effort. All right, I'm let that chill out in the fridge. A lovely clear little spot for it right here. Gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> Is it monthly or weekly? I don't know. I thought it was flakes. monthly, but... It might... No, I think we talked about this before. What is it? Let's see. What's all the time? Okay, what am I doing? Okay. So, we're going to get cling wrap, which I put away for some reason. Oh, you can set it. Let's see. It resets uh, midnight Pacific on Sunday night. So it, oh. won't, it won't reset. It'll be reset tomorrow, maybe. All right, we got our cling wrap. I hate cling wrap. Yeah. You do 10 squats and 10 bicep curls. I've thought about that, and I think that's a great idea. Talk about motivation. But I don't want to do squats on camera. Snacking is all the time, yeah. It's so hard not to snack, because you're like waiting. Watch me battle with this prosciutto. There we go. Okay, I'm only gonna use two pieces. I don't see why I need four. Well, maybe, no, four. We're gonna, it says to use, I don't, why do we have to do it this way? This seems weird. Why wouldn't I just lay it on the puff pastry? Oh, cause I'm spreading mushroom into it, into the square of meat. I see. Okay, we're overlapping these. Gonna go take a nap. All right, Viking. All this food got you on a nap. See you later. Prosciutto is so good. I'm about to eat just like a piece of this prosciutto right now. Oh, you've worked at 3 a.m.? Ugh. <sighs> Sounds awful. All right, lovely. We've got our square. We're gonna take our mushroom. Got our mushroom bits right here. All right, yeah, that's big enough, okay. So I'm taking my mushroom and I'm spreading it onto the prosciutto. all that. 
And I'm gonna use my hands because... Why not? I want it to be even. Come here, kitty! He likes to howl. I don't know why. Oh, I forgot to suck the moisture out. Oh, well. Rip. You can do it now. Yeah, I'm gonna take a paper towel to it. <laughs> Cloudy Flake just wants hands. Only cook with your hands. Even like hot shit. Just like stick your stick your hand in a hot pan. I'm patting some of this moisture out because I forgot to do it. All right, that's good. Sounds good to me. She seems fine. Like she doesn't really give a shit, to be honest. I kind of wanted her to be sad, so I had an excuse to get a replacement for Kiki or Chevy, but I don't know. She might just be fine. But if she starts like meowing constantly, I don't know. I think she's fine. She's probably fine. You're right. All right. Got our meat. Yes, pineapple with pizza all day. Give this guy some love, zombie. This guy knows his shit. All right, I'm using the cling wrap. I'm gonna roll this. Oh no, it's too fat. Too fat for that prosciutto. I'm gonna just put like another piece of prosciutto like on top of it. Cause it's not quite, it's a fat ass piece of meat. That's what she said. Say it before somebody else does. Gordon Ramsay doesn't like pineapples on pizza, is that true? I've suddenly lost like 27% of my respect for him. That's such a specific amount of respect in relation to putting pineapple on pizza. Yeah, well. All right. Keep that wrapped. Why does cling wrap have to suck? Like we've put men on the moon, but cling wrap is still a piece of shit. Why? Why though? Piece of prosciutto ninja? It probably didn't take cling wrap to the moon. <laughs> they probably didn't, you're right. I bet if they did, it wouldn't suck. Maybe, who knows? Maybe cling wrap is past what we can do scientifically. Welcome back, Julia. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up and I'm gonna chill it for a little bit. It'll help it keep its shape. So, let's let that go, let that chill. Okay, and then, I'm gonna let that chill for a little bit. Probably not quite as long as it says because I don't want to wait a super long time. The wrap does suck. I'll clean up just a tad and then we can get started on potatoes. Why don't you come say hello, Ninja? We'll just hang out for a bit. Get off of here. There we go. Try it, Julia. Try it for your mother, okay? Give it a chance. You actually have a video. Oh, you can't post the link? Somebody can permit you to post the link if you'd like, Tev. Will you do that for me, darling? Darling. Oh, never mind. Look, Julie, aren't you proud of me? I'm cleaning up a little bit. What the hell is that? Yeah. I do all the work. Actually, because I think this is gonna take too long, we're just gonna wing it. 
This is fine. The mushroom's cooled off, so I'm not worried about it. Because this is going to have to chill in the pastry, too. So... Okay. Oh, nap time biddy. Thank you, Viking. Nice nap time video. All right, we've got our pastry. I'm going to crack an egg. Strong egg. That egg didn't want to be cracked. Just made a brownie and cookie dough cheesecake with Oreo crust. God, that sounds so good. That sounds great. Uh, there's my whisk. A little whisk action. Another thing I haven't been able to find is my brush, which kind of sucks. I, don't, I have no idea what happened to it. Hmm. Oh well. So when I use my hands again, I'm actually gonna use a spoon. You don't like cheesecake. Oh my God, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Cheesecake is legit. Like what could you not like about cheesecake? The cream cheese, the graham cracker crust, like come on. Egg washing this bad boy all over. Okay. Now I'm gonna take my log of meat. Cheesecake is Italian? I actually don't know. Yo, what up, booty smacker? Please keep the booty smacking to a minimum if you could. All right, lovely. Now I'm gonna wrap this up, little blanket of deliciousness. Oh, this puff pastry looks so cozy. Put me in there. Nice and snug. Puff pastry's fun. I'm gonna trim that, I'm gonna take that off that much. Okay, delightful. Now, I'm gonna put this egg wash all over it, nicely, nicely, and make a mess while I'm at it. And we tricked me into eating a cupcake that was a cheesecake. Girl! because they want you to like cheesecake because cheesecake is like the goddess of all desserts. I wish I had a brush. I need to get a brush. I thought you had a brush. I, that's what I'm saying, I had one, but it was like a paint brush and I was using it for cooking, which is, was fine. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, but. You need like a silicone brush. Yeah, I know, I need to get one. Ah! Whoops. <laughs> You guys didn't see that. You guys didn't see me just drop egg all over the floor. Well. Yay, I love messes. I guess it is messy. <laughs> it's messy now, guys. I thought that bowl was empty. I just like moved it without thinking and I just threw egg everywhere. Disgusting. Remind me to like actually clean that up later. Salmonella city right there. Paul is triggered right now. Did you assume cheesecake has a gender? Oops. Is cheesecake its own gender? If so, I respect it. I kind of want to like season the outside, but I won't. It doesn't say to do that.
I added a silicone brush to your, to your list. <laughs> okay. What's up, party people? What's up, Jay Smith? You're officially off for four days. Well, three more now, right? Two more. Rip. How's your time off going? Getting in any trouble? Cheesecake actually is life. Like, for real, is life. All right, we're gonna cover this back up with cling wrap and we're actually gonna let that chill for a little bit. Just a little bit. Our nice little meat log. Please no jokes. Hello, Crunchy. Always need some crunchiness in the shine and dine. Ain't that right? I know that's right. I know that's right. Deep fried chips are, it depends on my mood, honestly. Oh, you spring break, Julia? I mean, I like kettle cooked chips the best. But like, baked chips are nice because you don't feel like shit after you eat them. It's a little hard last night. Oh, damn. No, but that's fun that you get to do that every once in a while. True, crunchy, we got some in the pantry, yeah? March break, whatever. It's spring break, okay? Spring break. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and make the sauce. We're gonna make our red wine sauce. Julia, you can't be here, I'm sorry. There's alcohol in this dish. So, sorry. Okay, we're gonna cut up our shallots. I'm gonna cut a shallot the same way I cut an onion, because I assume that that's probably pretty close. We've got, it says four shallots, but I bought a little bag that had three. So we're just gonna deal with that. They're pretty big, that one's pretty big. Yeah, this is a fat one, fat ass shallot. If you don't have shallots, shallot. honestly, Red onion I f is a pretty good substitute. Like I have a couple of things, like when I make um, tilapia piccata, you use um, um, shallots, but I use red onion. It's fine, it's fine. Maybe the chefs will judge me, but whatever. Have you heard of air fry chips? No, but I have seen the air fryer and I kind of want one. Julia's drank before. I don't think she has. Although the first time I got drunk, I was 14. Julia's drank water before. <laughs> yeah, I got drunk when I was 14 and it was a horrible experience. It was awful. I think I've told that story before. If not, then let me know. Because <laughs> it's a great story. Actually, it's a horrible story. Oh, really? What have you used in the air fryer, Crunchy? Oh, wow, I'm gonna get one now. I really, can you do like zucchini chips and stuff in it? All the crispiness without the grease, sounds. Yeah, how does it work? Is it just like, like heat just, I don't know, I even, can't even guess. I guess would be like super high heat, which in a small space. The, it yeah. dehydrates whatever you got in there, and so it becomes crispy. Let's see that. Hot air. <laughs> Genius. Genius. Moz six fries, sweet potato chips. Mmm. That'd be dope. That would be dope. The grape, this grapefruit drink that alcohol in it. Are you talking about wine? <laughs> oh, she said grape, did she say grapefruit or grape? 
Yeah. Grapefruit. Oh, grapefruit. Yeah, she did. Sorry. I said that too. Grapefruit is awful. It was in a can. Ew, Ew. what? Are you drinking Four loco? No, that has way more than two, like 0.2% alcohol. No, she lives in Canada. They wouldn't let them do that kind of thing. Four loco should be illegal. It is, isn't it? No. They still sell it, but it's just not. I think back in the day it had caffeine in it or something. And like way more alcohol. I don't know. I actually don't remember. Thanks, Crunchy. Yeah, I like this better than the pop and dub sub that we've had in the past. We asked the guy who runs that channel to let us do it. He said it was fine. Yeah, it's not the true Warlock anymore. God. My boyfriend in college, um, he could put back some alcohol, right? Like, like two six packs of beer and would be fine. But this one night, poor loco. He was just like on the ground on the pavement. I'm like, oh my God, what the hell did you drink? He's like, oh yeah, two four locos. I'm like, dude, stay away from that stuff. Oh, horrible. Oh, what else am I doing? Is my mic messed up? I'm saying my mic's messed up. Uh, better now, maybe? It looks okay, okay to me. Okay, but... good. Yeah, they said it's good. Did they miss that whole story? Probably. Oh well. Oh well. Good now. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> good, good, good. The wireless mic, so yeah, we have some. Sometimes there might be a little bit of uh, interference. Eat up some more oil in our lovely cast iron. Just turn to Optimus Prime for four seconds. That's Nikki. Hi. 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 Come here. Come here. Whoa. Hi. Say hello. Say hello. Are you grumpy? I'm digging your claws into my chest. Yeah, you brat. What do you mean that's not Kiki? Autobots roll out. What are you talking about? It's not Kiki. I don't really like Rare. I mean, it's fine. It's a little bit too bloody and alive for me personally, but I would rather eat a rare steak than a well done steak. I got my little tail sticking out. <laughs> Blue chummy. I miss you, dude. It's Clara disguising herself. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like my meat still moving either personally. Like a nice, warm, red, juicy center. But not just like all of it. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna turn that down a little bit. Prep my peppercorns. We need like six peppercorns. That's a little more than six. I'm gonna make pepper spray up in here. Get ready. The most expensive cut Probably like, um, yeah, exactly. Apollo, Apollo knows. Yeah, that's probably the most. Important. There's another one that starts with a K, isn't there? Or am I just thinking of something else? Wag Wagyu's not a cut. I oh, Wagyu, yeah, Wagyu's, Wagyu's a, a type. Wagyu Kobe is beef. A type of beef. That's the other one I was thinking of. Wagyu has to do with like how they raise the cows, I think. I think so. Like what they feed them. The, the most expensive cut, I believe, is filet mignon. Probably. Probably, probably. Da, 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 da. There we go. All right, I'm putting my shallots. My shallots. This is for our delightful red wine sauce. Put those peppercorns in there. Some more time. Okay. 
and some bay leaves. Unfortunately, I only have like these chopped, whoops, these chopped bay leaves, but it's fine. Typically with bay leaves, you have to take them out. $109 per pound. Oh, okay, Jay Smith, go get water. Let that saute up. Raised like gods. Those are some pampered cows, dude. They get, I'm pretty sure they get massages and stuff. Isn't that the deal? Isn't that how it goes? I think that's the Wagyu. Yeah. Like their beef, their meat gets massaged. So it's like super tender. Ugh. Carlos would know. He's refined AF. Sophisticated and refined. That smells so good, guys. Ew, whoops. I don't want that in there, though. Ninja, would you like to open this bottle of wine for us? Come say hello while you're at it. You can use our fancy schmancy wine opener. They get clean every day. They listen to classical music. Oh my God. Oh, I would love to try it though. Just to say I tried it. They get cooling fans. Yeah. Go to Japan if you want the best beef. Dude, this thing is dope. I wonder if this wine's any good. This thing's great, dude. It's awesome. My friend got it for me for a... for a uh, small loan of a million dollars. Actually, this, this wine opener is only like 20 bucks at Bed Bath & Beyond. It's totally worth it. If you drink a lot of, woo, if you drink a lot of wine. That's a good business to be in, I feel like. What's the, um, does your family have any like particularly well-known paintings or collection from certain artists or anything? Not that I'm an art buff, I have no idea. You got the can opener. <laughs> uh, what up, Radical? What up, Radical? All right, now that that's nice and toasty. Nice and toasty. All right, we're gonna let, we've got some red wine vinegar here, and I'm going to add a splash of that. and let that bubble. See, it's nice and bubbly. Oof. That vinegar, though. Phew. I burn my nostrils. <laughs> I've been jamming to him all morning. I love it. I love it. I introduced Radical to Native Construct last night. Had some Rembrandts and Van Dykes. Not really into art, though. <laughs> yeah, we'll let them know. Japan, here I come. Japan is amazing. I went to Okinawa uh, two years ago now, a year and a half ago. It was great. The food is incredible. I want to go back to Japan just for the food. And I can't, it sucks because like I wanted to cook more Japanese food, but we don't have a lot of the right ingredients around here. It's kind of hard to find, so kind of sad. All right, we're gonna add, since I cut this recipe in half, I'm adding about half a bottle of wine. So it's a lot of wine. Okay, now I'm gonna let that reduce like a lot, like a lot. 
turn this up so that it can boil. So boil a little bit. A Costco. We don't even have a Costco. Okay, J. Smith. I don't know if I believe you. 450 million. Like, I just want a million. Like, just give me a million dollars and I will be so good. <laughs> I'd be straight chilling with a million dollars. Only a million. That's all I need. Sure, Cloudy. Yeah, you can post links in Discord. We've got like a lot of channels where you can post links if you want to do that. Starting to boil now. Anybody know when I put the, the beef wellington in the freezer? Or the fridge, I mean. I don't know how long it's been. That's the cheapest painting you have. Damn, that's dope. <laughs> Adopt me too, Carlos, please. <laughs> oh, how we all lead different lives. Did you just look it up for me, Joseph? You're amazing. Of course, that would be, wait, no, that's not right. Oh, is my clock wrong? I hate daylight savings time. I hate it. <laughs> yeah, just UPS a painting to us. This wine smells so good. I don't know if this wine is any good. This is a $2 bottle of wine. How much was it? Two and a half dollars? $2.80. Let's something. sample. Let's sample this $2 wine, guys. I'll even get a glass out. It's $2 Merlot. Carlos is over there like cringing right now. He's like, what are you talking about? $2 Merlot. Let's see. <laughs> I bet it gives you the biggest headache probably. This brand is actually really shitty, but I mean for cooking it doesn't matter because whatever. Like I buy the cheapest like Pinot Grigio for cooking. I'm gonna... Mmm, I smell wine. Subtle flavors of black cherry mixed berries and a hint of vanilla. I smell some vanilla. Carlos drinks the good shit, all right. Ugh. Yeah, that ain't good. We try. Well, it's very dry. I don't really like Merlot anyway. Yeah, I can't, once you get up to $10, I don't really care. We're talking about wine and Zombie's like, ketchup and mac and cheese is delicious. <laughs> I love you, dude. Good try. Fine. I wouldn't drink like a lot of that though. What do you think? I think it's fine. Really? I couldn't tell the difference between this and something else. No, I mean, I probably couldn't tell the difference either. I can't drink anymore though. Like I drank on Friday night with my friend when she came and I had two, no, sorry. I had a margarita and a half and I was wasted. I wasn't wasted, but I was like, like dizzy. A little more than tipsy, but not quite drunk. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Don't go to club that often. Oh, Carlos, my friend is officially moving to Queens on Tuesday. Super happy for her. She's so excited. Turn this heat up a little bit more. I'm going to that reduce. Can you carry me now? 
I'm already adopting Julia, okay? I've already adopted her. She can't be adopted again. I've seen your snaps, Julia. You look like you live in a really like cute neighborhood. Damn, it's already been an hour. We still got a long way to go, guys. Not really. I'm going really easy on the side dishes too, though. Once I get the other stuff in the oven, I'm gonna. This smells really good though, like shallots and wine. It's delicious. If I keep reducing. Do you like these? Mmm. I know what you're gonna say next. I think I do. Huh? Yep, there it is, there it is. <laughs> I mean, I like cashews, cashews are pretty good. Not a big fan of almonds though. Daily picks. Carlos, you need to snap me more. I still have you on Snapchat, don't I? I need more snaps of your life. Get me through the day. Smells delightful. All right, it's probably been, maybe not yet. He, Carlos may be sophisticated, but I know that he still eats Chipotle, which makes me feel better. Chipotle is the best. Sick. Do you plan on ever like taking over the business, Carlos? Is that like something that they expect you to do? That's right, right. Probably like other collectors, right? Auctions and stuff. Almost reduced, not quite, not quite reduced yet. You want a glass of wine, Ninja? No, thank you. I'm gonna seal this up then. I need a wine stopper. <laughs> Since we're done with that wine. I wish I knew about art. Mm, go to London a lot? That doesn't sound too bad. Do you have any like, like when would you do that? Like years from now or? Here, Carlos, how about I paint something and then you can have your family purchase my wonderful art. Just kidding, I can't even, I can't do shit. I wish I was an artist. Snapping my cats, perfect, or your cats. Excellent. Right, this is probably, maybe another, another minute or so. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put the Wellington in the oven. Cause that looks good to me. Unwrap it. This delicious meat pouch. Um let's get Kiki staring out the window in sadness. Probably looking for Chevy. Kiki! Kiki! Come here! Hi! Oh, I'm not gonna pick you up again though, cause you're a brat. Alrighty, alrighty. Bye, Medusa. Okay, got this loveliness. Now I'm going to put this in the oven for like 15 minutes. 
really hot, Jesus. I'm just sitting on the stove. Okay, Alexa, set a timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, starting now. How's the food looking? Food's looking good. You wanna go to Florida again, Mr. Bren? What did you do in Florida when you went last? Florida's quite lovely. The weather's really nice right now too. So. This recipe's in milliliters and it's triggering me right now. I don't know, whatever. Time to wing it. Fuck milliliters. Oh. Just kidding, sorry. We should all actually use the metric system. I don't know why we don't. It would be so hard. <laughs> to switch. Like to just switch everything I wouldn't, in the nation over I, to. No, the, it was, society would collapse. Universal is better. Hey, that's, that's pretty much it. Disney or Universal and like the beach. Hired a Mustang convertible, which was fun. Nice. Nice. That reduce a little bit more. This music is so chill. Went to Disney and all those places. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna let this simmer until we are finished with everything else. So, down low. I'm gonna clean up my mess a little bit and then we're gonna work on our sides. We do have sides and actually I'm gonna move this. This is our red wine sauce and it's just gonna simmer until we're finished. So I'm gonna move this off the side because we're gonna make. Hey, listen. Uh, Mr. Bren, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Welcome back to Florida. Okay, let that simmer. Drunk with friends are flying on the jet and vacationing. These are more interesting than my snaps will ever be. Uh -huh. Ooh, why is that dirty? Ew. You're out for baseball? Bummer, what are you gonna do now? Okay, so, instead of your standard mashed potatoes, I'm doing sweet potatoes because sweet potatoes are slightly better for you. Complex carbs, yo. You know, even though we're eating like meat wrapped in puff pastry, let's not, let's not think about that, but we're being health conscious here. Also, I'm add a bunch of butter to it, so it doesn't really matter, but. <laughs> I do like the way that mashed sweet potatoes taste. So I like to go easy with this, to be honest. I'm just gonna take some sweet potatoes, two big ass ones. Um, that's mainly what I play, Mr. Bren. I've played like PUBG and we have a Minecraft server that we play on every Monday, or well, just started last Monday. Um, I'm thinking about getting into Fortnite, but I'm not sure. But yeah, other than that, CSGO is main. Where's the cat? I don't know, she's gone now, she's gone. You hurt your arm. How'd you hurt your arm? Julia's snaps are primarily her goofing off in class. I'm gonna add more beef broth to that because that seems like once it reduces, it's not gonna be enough sauce. Turn it up a bit. It smells really good in here though. All right, so I'm doing these sweet potatoes in the microwave. It doesn't matter, unless you're eating like a straight baked sweet potato, it does taste better in the oven, but the way I'm doing this, it does not matter. So, and if you just want like a quick sweet potato, easy. So you can take a fork and you're just gonna stab a bunch of holes into your potato. Kill that bitch. It's 
King. Because that helps let the air come out. Be careful not to stab your own fingers. Don't stab yourself, please. I won't, I won't. But I am gonna get sweet potato juice in my eye doing this, like I just did. All around, all over. Cooks a little bit faster this week. Audie too. Flake wants to know if you washed the potato. Did not wash the potato. Called out by Cloudy Flake. Cloudy Flake calling me out. You're right, I didn't wash the potato. You're right, we should wash potatoes. Got distracted, didn't wash potatoes. Everybody's been rejected, dude. Everybody. It doesn't matter if you're, I don't know. You gotta wash the potatoes. All right, potatoes are washed now, guys. Everybody can calm down. You haven't dated since your crazy ex, though. Wait, are you not dating now? Why X has got to be so crazy? My X is crazy too. Most of my exes are crazy. Then again, I'm probably somebody else's crazy ex. I'm really afraid I'm gonna stab myself now. I've never stabbed myself before, but you know I'll do it on stream. It's a good way to get viewers. <laughs> stab yourself on Stab screen. yourself, yeah, I'm not worth it. This potato is like extra hard. Four months, wow. That's the fun time. Yo, what up, boy Jedi? Alexa, how much time is left? You have seven minutes and 30 seconds left on your 15 minute time. Okay, perfect. And then I'm just gonna pop these bad boys right in the, in the microwave. You can, you can wrap them in a paper towel if you want, but. I typically don't. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it on for 10 minutes. It takes a while, especially for bigger potatoes. I feel sad for the fork. The fork's fine. Don't worry about it. The fork's it. job is to stab. The fork loves nothing more than stabbing. That's true, that's, that's its job is to stab. If anything, that's like exhilarating for it. Does she like experiences or does she like gifts? I'm personally more of an experience kind of person, especially as I get older. There's not really much that I need anymore. I like to go do things. Like Ninja took me to see The Lion King last night, which was very nice. On Broadway, that is. Very nice, very nice. Everybody wants your Snapchat. Oh, that's so nice. Didn't you take me on a week to Paris, please? Sure. Okay. I'll hop in my private jet and we can go there. Mm. <laughs> Yo, what up, Blizzard? Good to see ya. Really? I've heard that too, that like Venice is getting to be gross. Somebody else told me that Rome is shitty right now too. Where do you go then? Ninja and I still don't know where we're going for our honeymoon. Depends on how much we get from our honeymoon fund, but I thought I wanted to go to Italy, but. Venice seems so pretty, like. Sad, it's a shame. It's a shame. 
I'm gonna go and prep this asparagus while we chill too. Ugh, Dubai. I've I've never been to Dubai, obviously, but um, for a 3D modeling company, and we did a model of Dubai. Oh my god, it was gorgeous. I was like, damn, I want to go there. Everybody had boats. Like every single house in Dubai had a boat in its front yard. Like it was like aerial imagery. Like we were building their buildings and stuff. Hmm. Painting of a lip. What? Turn that up. Julia should stream. I keep telling her that. She'd be great. <laughs> I keep telling her. Every time we play Go together, I'm like, damn, you should be the you should be the streamer, not me. Germany does sound lovely, and Ninja's mom actually um, dates somebody who lives who lives in Germany, so um, would be really nice. to go over there, stay in his house. Oh, there's my oil, it's right here. Donate and I'll carry you in her bio. That would work. You'll stream in a few weeks? I don't believe you, I don't believe you. Come to the UK too. A Lot of people here from the UK, so definitely should, honestly. Although, Ninja actually, um, Went ahead and booked a room in, uh, where's TwitchCon this year? Um, San Jose? San Jose. Yeah. Went ahead and preemptively booked a room in San Jose for TwitchCon in case we decided to go. So it's up in the air, but I do want to go to TwitchCon, which would be awesome. All right, I've got Parmesan cheese and I'm gonna grate up for this delicious Asparagus. I think I could I could do with a little bit more asparagus. Did I put it away? No, I didn't. Greece this summer. Greece is so pretty. What's that one city with like the the whitewashed buildings on the coast? What city is that? Forgetting to wash my vegetables. Yo, hey, what up, Jay Smith? Welcome back. Welcome back. Did you get your water? Did you get anything else exciting other than water? Come to the Caribbean in April? Oh, I would. I would. I don't get any vacation days at work. It's really shitty. It's shitty. <laughs> I don't have your Stetson yet. Croatia, I've heard that too. Somebody, somebody from Croatia comes in the stream every once in a while. Done what? Not done yet. Food's not done yet. Gunner Lee with the sub. Thank you, Gunner Lee. Welcome back to the sub club. Was that a true sub? Yep. Okay. Want to make Prime. sure? Huh? Rich Prime. Awesome. Thank you, Gunner Lee. Let's all go on a getaway with Carlos, guys. Carlos knows how to party, yo. I know he does. Good early. Good to see you again, man. How you been? <laughs> Wait, who's trying to fight? No fighting, please. No fighting. 
I'm gonna open this damn cheese up. There we go. You gotta go all over the world to pick us up. All over the world, like literally all over the world. I can't open this damn cheese. Alexa, stop. For a parking space, oh my god, no thank you. Oh, does caps matter? Huh? Oh, I, sp I said offical, that's hilarious. LOL. That's hilarious. Offical. We're dueling. <gasps> Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. I've got my trusty meat for thermometer. I can say the words. You like asparagus? Ninja loves asparagus. I'm kind of indifferent to asparagus. I also find it difficult to cook occasionally. Klaus beat me. Klaus beat you? Rip your shinies. I only lost 100. How many did you have? Your shinies. Still have more than Klaus, lol. All right, let's see. Oh, I forgot to score the pastry, rip. Oh, well. I can score it now, maybe. Ninja washed my oven mitt and it turned the white pink. It was a little bit devastating. We got our Wellington. My favorite place to shop, I don't really, I'm not a big shopper. I, I like to shop, but I'm a little cheap when it comes to shopping. But I do like Express, I really like Express. And like, that's really it. Yeah, because Offical doesn't exist, that's why. Offical? Too bad Offical doesn't exist anymore. That might need to go a little bit longer. Louis Vuitton. Let's see. So I don't think this is done yet. Well, no, it's good. It's like, yeah, no, that's good. Testing certain different parts of it. Yeah, that's good. I might pop it back in the oven just for like another couple minutes just so it's a little more golden brown. It's not quite where I would want it personally. Pink looks better. Pink white looks better anyway. I mean, it looks like it was kind of supposed to be that way. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't look. Can't even tell on stream. Well, I can tell. He ruined bad. my mitt. Golden brown texture. It actually just looks white on stream because the really? color balance, yep. Well, whatever. <laughs> what are you doing off call? Uh, okay, so let's check if our, I can go another. Couple minutes for the. I'm gonna be nice and squishy. We're gonna mush them up, mash them up, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. You're still recovering. Okay, so while the potatoes are still cooking, I'm gonna grate up my Parmesan cheese. Always freshly grated. Sorry, but it make it does make a difference. Has anybody ever grated their finger on a cheese grater before? Yes. It's horrible. Yes. It's awful. 
It's awful. Oh, uh, I don't need this anymore. What up, Fozzie the Bear? <laughs> Got a donk. Are you my best friend? Because she used to say that to me all the time. It used to be a song. I don't know what it's called, but it went, she got a donk like 20 times. So. Oh, stop it, Mr. Brad. Catching your fingernail. Ugh. Catching your fingernail on anything is terrible, much less a cheese grater. You could be my best friend. All right. Whoops. Consider yourself my best friend right now. What are you going to do for me first? What are we going to do first? All right, we got Parmesan cheese, and we're gonna put some paprika. Alexa, stop. I feel like I'm always shouting at her. She probably thinks I don't appreciate her very much. And a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. I'll give you a chance, Fozzie the Bear. Go clubbing, gossip about boys. That sounds great. My Alexa makes me angry. I always shout at her. Same. I imagine that Amazon has like just a database of voice clips recorded. I would like, I, oh my God. Like hundreds of thousands of gigabytes of people just like yeah. yelling and cursing it. Absolutely. Absolutely. That might be a bit too much Parmesan. Might've gone overboard with the Parmesan. Yeah, that's a little, that's a little more reasonable. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have our Parmesan cheese and not too much paprika, like a quarter of a teaspoon, which I'm just eyeballing it. You want up, dig? What's good, my man? <laughs> What's for dinner? Beef Wellington. All right, I got my lovely little paprika Parmesan cheese mixture here. Now, Yeah, these are good. Okay, we've also got our sweet potatoes. I have such a limited like cooking space. Ow. Those are probably done. I'm gonna cut these open and let them cool so they're a little less hellish to deal with. Yeah, okay. But see, like honestly, this is the best way to cook a sweet potato in my opinion because it doesn't take like an hour and a half in the oven, and you still get the same consistency and all that. Oh, you have an alarm with her? Oh, that's horrible. I would be so cranky. Hi, Drifty. What's good, Drifty? Nice of you to drift on in. All right, while that's cooling, you can see, I don't know if you can see the steam, the steam coming off. I'm gonna turn this on medium. Oh, I'm what? recovered. You're, rec you're trying to duel? Ninja's addicted. Maybe, maybe because I was challenged, so I recovered faster. Ah. Or because I lost. I see. All my pants are still falling off. I do need to go shopping. I really do. How many shinies do you have, Ted? How many shinies hey, do I have? Listen! Oh, Drifty, thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. We're gonna let our olive oil heat up nicely in there. We might have to cook this asparagus in two batches, potentially. Where's my big bowl? Here's my big bowl. Our sauce is looking lovely too. I'll show you in a minute. Looking nice and thick. Thick. Oh, let's. That's better. Yeah, there we go. Beef Wellington, ladies and gentlemen. Put this down over here for just a minute. Thick sauce is the only way. We only thick here, no thin, only thick. So, funny enough, I'm wearing, like, it's this leotard I have. 
that I really like. It's like comfy, long sleeve, cute. But I can't like fasten it, so I wear it like a shirt, but I tuck it in like these are high-waisted pants. <laughs> so the little tail keeps coming off. You'll get to see it, Carla Lizard. You just gotta wait. We gotta let that cool for at least 10 minutes before we cut into it. Very important. All right, we're gonna cook our asparagus in a single layer. Don't crowd the pan too much. In fact, we'll do this in two batches. Let that cook for a few minutes until nice and tender. Tender. Let me see if I can get all this in. So it takes like eight minutes to cook. Eight to 10 minutes or so. There, that's fine. That's enough for us anyway. You want it to be nice and crispy. It's all about the crispiness with asparagus. Don't be like soggy asparagus. Ugh. Add just a little bit more oil. Ooh, please don't pop me. Hi, Moham. Marvelous. Let that cook. They're raw. What? I hate rubbery asparagus. Blech. It's considered rude to write in red ink in Portugal. Good to know. Red ink is kind of um, aggressive anyway. Like, you know those teachers that grade their papers in red ink? So I get it. It's, there's a lot of rules with like ink colors. Like in legal documents and things, you're only supposed to sign in blue ink. I feel like the reason they do that is that, so that you can tell that it's not a photocopy. Yeah, that's why. Your favorite color is aggressive. Red is also for passion, so think of it like that. You're very passionate. Turn that down, it's a little hot. Also red has been scientifically proven to make you hungry. That's why a lot of fast food restaurants use red for their logos and stuff, fun fact. You got McDonald's, Wendy's, yep. what else, Chick-fil-A. Like they're all red, it's weird. And like blue is supposed to curb your appetite. Like there's all this like science about colors. It's really interesting. I love fun facts. Fun facts are great. All right, this is probably relatively cool enough to deal with. So while that's cooking, I've got my bowl here. We're going to take our cooked sweet potatoes, scrape them out. And obviously they should be tender. You should be able to take them out pretty easily. And this is really easy to do and they're really tasty. It's a healthier, well, what I'm gonna do to them is not very healthy. So like for a weeknight meal, I wouldn't do this. But it's still healthier than regular mashed potatoes. And really easy, it doesn't require a lot of ingredients. Everyone calls you Carl. No, you're Carlos. Those are very different names. Scrape out your potato guts. I can turn this oven off too. This is actually one of my favorite side dishes. I make this pretty often. I'm not being very sanitary because it's just me and Evan, so. Me and Ninja, excuse me. People troll me. Half asleep, Biddy Viking, back from his nap. Did you just wake up or are you just not napping? Mm -hmm. 
burning my fingers a little bit. Just a little bit. I don't even know if that's the right song. Whatever. All right, we got our potatoes. We all know about potatoes in here because we all play Go. Which shoes did you end up getting um, the other day, Carlos? That's probably good on that side. I'm gonna turn those over. Lovely. Lovely. I shop at TJ Maxx. Yeah, T TJ Maxx is hit or miss, honestly. You can get some good stuff there, but sometimes it's like, oh, that's why it was discounted. <laughs> okay, because it like broke the first day I wore it or whatever. I wait for, Express does like a 50% off everything sale like a couple times a year. I typically go ham then. Uh, John Perner, thank you for the follow. I'm gonna tuck my shirt in. Oh well. Yeah guys, join the Discord if you haven't already, all you new people. Was it the ones we suggested, or we said were better? Or did you end up getting something else? If so, I will check it out. Okay, our asparagus is still cooking and we still have our immersion blender here, which I love this thing. This thing is awesome. Is that the egg bowl? No, it was the cheese bowl. The cheese spilled now? Yeah. Oh, nice. There it goes. Julia, you have to clean now. You, you know wonder what? how the kitchen becomes a mess. Because I'm messy and clumsy. Question is, no, no, no. Yeah, I'd have a mop you before. You gotta grate all the cheese again. Yeah, I was gonna like, well, can I get away with it? But no. No. We haven't mopped before in a little while. Well, I mopped it. I mopped it on Friday. We have cats. <laughs> Rip cheese. Also, there's like hair in it now. It's gross. <laughs> nope, I'm not cleaning. Whatever. I'll just grate some more cheese. <laughs> Tab Curry emerged victorious. That's so fun. That's so fun. Okay. I think my cheese is still, oh, I have, look, I grated extra. So easy. I just need to grate like a little bit because I already grated extra. It was meant to be, you guys. It was. Oh, paprika. How do lobsters communicate, Jay Smith? That up there, so I don't do that again. Okay, so got our immersion blender, which what I was trying to grab before. I rinse off my thing. So I use it for the mushrooms earlier. All right, so. Got our standard potatoes, they're still hot. You wanna do this while they're still hot. We're gonna add butter. We're gonna add heavy cream. Yeah. We got heavy cream here, which this is what makes it not healthy, adding the cream and butter. And something else that's really good, a touch of cream cheese. You get one shiny per dollar, uh, I think. Jay Smith, 1500 bits, thank you 
you so much, Jay Smith. You get 10 per dollar. That's your trademark, dude. I love it. Thank you so much. Get some love in here for that guy. All right, we're just gonna add a little bit. I'm only gonna add. This is the kind of thing you have to eyeball because, you know, if you say like use three potatoes, um, that's not gonna be the same size. So, um, yeah, there's my rag. Again, like 80% of the stream is like me just looking for shit. Hey Smith, love you, dude. Thank you. Did you sh did you stream NHL? I didn't see you go live yesterday. I thought I had your notifications on. All right, my asparagus is probably done. Yeah, it's good. So I'm gonna take it off the burner. Take it off. Turn that off. I'm gonna pat some of that oil off. Ninja, can you get me more paper towels? I wanted to know, Jay Smith, I wanna know how lobsters communicate. <laughs> no, Carlos, missed out on the shinies. Okay, Ninja's not gonna get me paper towels, so I'm just gonna use the... What? <laughs> I'm patting this dry a little bit, okay. And I'm gonna take I need a cup to like, here, I'm not using this anymore, so. <laughs> you just donate in April. Carlos, I love you. Love you, Carlos. All right, I've drained the oil off, putting that back in. And then I'm going to toss in my paprika parmesan cheese mixture. Just gently let that melt a bit. The, the, the stove's not on, it's just whatever residual heat is left on this pan, which is perfect for it. All right, now we're gonna work on our Potatoes. I've got my cream cheese right here. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of butter. Thank you, dear. Tablespoon of butter. I'm gonna plug my immersion blender in. <gasps> Wait, they squ ew, Jay Smith, ew. <laughs> Carlos is paying rent. Pretty much. All right, and now I'm going to use this bad boy. Mix this up. Get the butter and cream cheese melted. How are the headphone users? Probably rip. Rip? Probably no rip. Idea. All right. And then, stay there. A little bit of cream. And I'm probably actually gonna add a little bit of milk in this just to thin it up because it looks a little thick. Maybe. Well, no, that's good. This thing is great for potatoes. What about Disney World? 
Keep it PG. <laughs> this is 18 plus. That's not the worst thing we've heard in here. That's a fact. All right, I've got my, I need salt. Can you give me the salt? Oh, I think I should have cinnamon over here already. I do. We're gonna season this baby up. My arm's tired after that. Season this baby up with some salt. And some cinnamon. Cinnamon is best in sweet potatoes. And I'm just gonna mix that up. And I'm also gonna check on my sauce, but I think, yeah, it's like really thick. In fact, I'm gonna add a little bit more beef broth just to thin it up a bit. It's a little more sauce-like. Lovely. I'm gonna give her a taste. A little bit more salt. You gotta season it to taste. And a little more cinnamon too. You can also, that's paprika. Do not do that. <laughs> Pay attention to your spices. Mmm, good. Mmm. You can see, very easy, very tasty. Gordon Ramsay is in the chat. <gasps> is he gonna roast me? I'm making Gordon Ramsay's Beef Wellington right now. So it's his own fault if it turns out poorly. That's all I'm saying. Don't put that blame on me. All right, I'm gonna move all this mess to the side. We're about to prepare a plate. It's cooled off, okay. Now I'm gonna cut into this and prepare a plate for Ninja to judge. We've finished everything. Put this over here for a minute. I hope this holds up. I'm trying to slice it like really gently. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Kind of falling apart a little bit, but that's okay. I'll give you two pieces, Ninja. You ready to eat? We get 60 subs, fam. Wait, what? We get 60 subs. Oh, fam. shit, really? Yeah, 60 subs, yo. Look at that, that's like straight medium rare. It, really, it occurred to me that nobody can see that. Wow, that looks good. It does. It smells really good too. I, I can't remember, I'm sure I have, but I can't remember when I've had a beef welling. Be a new experience. Well, I hope that it's good. Gordon Ramsay did not say mustard. Apparently that's standard, but. Okay, we got our mashed sweet potatoes and get you a little bit of asparagus, which is Ninja's favorite vegetable. This is like Parmesan paprika. And turn that off. Get a spoon. Show us under the. Yeah, I will. I'm getting the sauce. This red wine shallot reduction. If you want more, I'm not gonna like overdo it with this because. And there we have it. Looks pretty good. Honestly. Yeah, right? Oops. It's very juicy. Like really, really right, juicy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sample it now. All right, come on. This looks good. Woo! First hero! I forgot to cancel the sub. Mm. 
Welcome back anyway, First Hero. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> no one is faster than Tab, that's true. No one. All right, Ninja, I'll even let you use the fancy silverware. We have the coolest silverware. Let's see. This may be a new taste sensation. A new taste sensation? This is a small thing. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that fork not big enough for you? I would like a full size fork, please. Hello, Dawn. Thank you. All right, we await the verdict. I go to this side. What do you think? This is Gordon Ramsay's recipe. Very good. The wine sauce is key. Really? The the acidity of the wine cuts <laughs> through the, the beef really well. Very good. Asparagus now? That's the asparagus. Mm-hmm. I really like asparagus. So nothing to complain about. Yeah, he likes asparagus. Asparagus is great. Hi Drifty! A little bit of a little bit of char on the asparagus. Very nice. It's all about the char. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Those potatoes. Good are sweet dope. potatoes. Sweet potatoes are dope. Butter, cinnamon. Sundays would be your favorite day, Jay Smith. I would love to cook for you. I would love to cook for all of you. I want to have a dinner party. Excellent. Great. I'm taking it. He's gone. We've done it. I've made beef wellington. May not be the, here. It does, can you see? I'll, I'll lift it up. You can kind of see the cook on that. Be nice. That's how I like my beef, personally. We had somebody in here saying some blasphemy that they preferred well done beef. Whew. It's not bland. It's not bland, is it? No, it's great. Really good. I just seasoned it with salt and pepper, the mushrooms, and the red wine is. Oh, you're a veg. Oh no. What's the question? For our wedding or for somebody else's wedding? We still have. Oh, I am going wedding dress shopping this weekend, though. We're going with my friend who's also getting married. She's getting married in October and she doesn't have a dress, so it's mostly about her. But I'm going to try on some stuff. It's gonna be fun. I'll hey, send some snacks. Listen. Gamma, thanks for the follow. Oh yeah, new subs. Um, do we have any new subs or just resubs? Anyway, either way, if you haven't already, send me your Snapchat username and I'll add you tonight. You can DM me on Discord or on Twitch, whatever. Any of those. <laughs> so much dueling. I'm almost positive I'm going strapless. Um, if not, I've seen some with like nice sleeves, like just kind of, I don't know, like off the shoulder kind of thing, which I like. But I'm also going either A-line or ball gown. I'm saying a lot of words right now that most of the men in here probably don't care about, but. Some saucy snaps. <laughs> saucy snaps. Wedding is next February, Carlos, so quite a ways away. We're still, you know, just under a year out. Carlos is gonna crash the party. It is an open wine and beer bar. <laughs> Ninja wants the snaps more than I do. You chowing down over there, Ninja? I am. Yes. <laughs> From a helicopter. The wedding is actually on a roof, so in theory, he could do that. It's like um, the ceremony is up on this rooftop, and then you go inside for the reception. And it's like a loft with like exposed brick and pillars. It's gonna be so pretty. I can't wait. It's really nice. It's gonna be really nice. 
Yes, I am live streaming the wedding. It's happening. It's still happening. You fly me out, I'll cook. Damn, I wish I would have known that. We already have our caterers. The, the venue makes you go with them for the catering. I can't wait, I'm so excited. You can drop in in a helicopter, Carlos. That would make for a good story. Where am I sending the stripper? Ninja has no interest in a bachelor party. Like I'm having to be the one to convince him that he should have one. Okay, Julia, we're pretty much, we're winding down now. There's private jet. Will you take us to our honeymoon destination, Carlos? I've only ever flown coach, so bruh. Carlos wants to. I bet Carlos would throw a dope ass bachelor party. Why don't you throw my bachelorette party? I don't know what I'm doing from a bachelorette party. Something crazy. We might go to the Keys, actually. CSGO hey, party. Listen. Bursting. Thank you for the follow. Live stream the bachelorette party. Oh my god, that would be wild. That would be absolutely wild. My friends would probably make fun of me though. None of them game or know what streaming is. Like I tell them what I do sometimes, they're like, what? One of my friends does, one of my bridesmaids knows about it. Wait, what? <laughs> hey, listen! Old per <laughs> thank you for the follow. You guys with your names, ridiculous. What's happening? <laughs> they support me. They're like, damn, that's awesome. Like my friend was over here um, Friday night and she wanted to see a VOD. So we showed her the jelly bean recording and she was laughing. Figured that one was more, uh, more her speed. That, that night was so funny. Watch the whole thing, I was crying. That bot is so funny. Oh, well guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up. I'm tired of standing. But um, Ninja, did you write everybody down? Oh, uh, I don't have my... I don't have a pad with mm, me. I did, I did not. You forgot. I, I don't I have do thing. I can do it. I All can right. Do Ninja's going to let me know who did everything. All right. We got First Hero with a resub. That's right. Two months. That's right. We got right. Jay Smith, 1500 bits. That's right. We got Viking with those sleepy bits. The sleepy bits. We got Greener Lee with the Twitch, uh, Twitch Prime sub. Um, we got a... Gifted sub from Apollo to Passionate. Apollo, thank you. And we got uh, Offical Klaus on that five month resub. Woo! -hoo! You said Jay Smith too? Yes. For this? Of yeah, okay. Jay Smith. Okay, of course. Thank you guys. I love you all. Thank you so much. Hope you guys enjoyed the, the British cooking. I hope you Brits weren't too triggered by my Beef Wellington attempt. <laughs> I'm pretty pleased with it. It looks like it tastes good. Jay Smith with another 1500. Thank you so much, Jay Smith. Thank you, thank you. Love you, love you. You're the best, too. Give some love for Jay Smith. And follow that guy, too. He streams, too. He's fresh on the scene, so give him a follow. Wait, what? What about paying for somebody's funeral? Oh my god, I missed it. Oh my god. <laughs> What happened? No funerals, please. No funerals. Hi, Spectra. Mm. 
Ninja, he has a channel and he's streamed like a couple times, but um, mostly he's just here with me. Hi, Northern Lights. We will never see your bed badge. <laughs> I think he, well, the when he would stream would be when I would stream and like, um, it would be, I feel like that'd be kind of hard for like two people to stream at once in the same room. I don't know. My, my issue is time. I mean, if I have days where I have extra time, yeah. I, I plan on keeping my channel up. I mean, he's, yeah, he's got some VODs up and, and I'm sure I'll stream again. True. All right, guys. Well, um, I will be back tomorrow night. Uh, as you know, we do Mellow Mondays on Monday. So um, we're going to be chilling in the Minecraft server again like Monday. So if you guys want to get in on that, um, you can DM Ninja or me or whoever, and we'll get you in the server to play. So yeah, uh, see you guys tomorrow at 7.30. Love you, good night. <laughs>